insane new documentary short on Netflix is telling the story of a high school football player who happens to be deaf. Film critic Pam Powell takes us behind the scenes on the making of the film. Matt, thanks so much for joining me to talk about your new short film that is on Netflix streaming now. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Pamela. You bet, you bet. Um, can you tell me a little bit about um, what inspired you to tell this story? Yeah, um, you know, as a filmmaker, I'm always looking to tell underrepresented stories, um, learn about other people you may not know about, create a conversation. This one's pretty personal to me in that where it's set is Maryland School for the Deaf, which is a high school about 30, 40 minutes outside of D.C. Um, and I grew up about 30 minutes away from there as well. I'm from oh. D.C. And so I knew of the school. Um, and in addition to that, my best friend still to this day since I was a kid is deaf. And so uh, I had a connection to the deaf community through him and, and found an opportunity to tell a story with this school and spent 10 years in touch with the school and visiting the school, trying to get it made till wow. the stars aligned and Netflix came aboard and saw something special in it. Um, and, and, uh, became a Netflix original. With a documentary, and I think this is so much different than, than creating a narrative, a fictional tale, um, you don't really know where the story is going until it's over with, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, you have some gut feelings and based on experience and intuition, and I certainly knew some goalposts. You know, I knew we had the, <laughs> the structure, the narrative arc of a semester and the football season to work with. I didn't know what ha would happen within that. Well, what came out of that is an incredible story. And one of the driving forces within that is your main subject of Amare. Did I pronounce that correctly? Amari. Amari. Um, tell me about connecting with him and um, what he wanted to see and communicate within this film. Yeah, I mean, look, because we're telling a coming of age story and I really wanted to do that, do that through the point of view of a senior, because I think that's a pivotal, you know, moment in time as you're coming of age, you know, you're about to leave high school and uh, go out into the world, especially if you're deaf, you're going out a little bit into the hearing world as well. Um, and so every year I, when you think about it, I had to recast because they graduate, I doubt right. someone new. And I'm lucky, I'm, I'm glad it took this long. I'm grateful because I think Amari's story and his relationships with his dad and his family, with Lyra, with Jalen, the cheerleader, I think really metaphorically helped tell the story of, of, of the struggle, right? And um, then it's just about creating trust with them so they let you into their lives. You know, spending enough time um, sharing of yourself as well, listening, being curious, um, finding something you connect with. Yeah. It's, and you really do connect with these kids. They really bear their heart and soul to you about what it's like to be in a, a deaf world, a deaf community, and looking forward to the future and how to function within the, the hearing world as well. Um, the audio editing is a really key element in your film as well. And I loved how you plunged us into their world so that we could experience what they're experiencing. Tell me a little bit about that choice and how you yeah. do Yeah. You know, and the caveat being experiencing what they're experiencing somewhat. It's a dip into their world. You know, we still turn off the TV and we can hear again. Um, but I want you to experience or feel something. Hence, we wanted this to be an immersive experience, both visually and, and, and in terms of the soundscape. So the sound team were really important. I wanted the sound to be a character in the film. So uh, Jackson Greenberg, our composer with the music, um, you'll notice a lot of sort of bass, bass and deeper sounds that vibrate and are discordant on um, things you can feel. Uh, and working in concert with sound design and mix with Derek Vanderhorst and Eric Norris who did the sound design and mix, 
making that a character and it, it's the range of sounds. Sometimes it's silent and sometimes it's very saturated and vibrant and, and everything in between. I have one last question for yeah. you. Given that these kids were seniors, um, do you think that you would want to do a follow-up movie to sure. see where they've gone and, and the different paths that they've taken yeah. and, and the difficulties? Yeah, whether it's uh, extending or expanding or doing a new project that's with them or with other people from the deaf community, some version of that for sure. Um, yeah, I think there's more to tell. Oh, there's so much more to tell. Mm -hmm. you, you have given us a lot to talk about in your movie, Audible, that is now streaming on Netflix. Matt, thank you so much for joining me to talk Thanks. about your film. Thanks for having me. It means a lot.